One of my favorite guitar players in the world, Chris Buck, brought up a great point recently, and that is that a Stratocaster can put you in such familiar territory tone-wise that you sound too much like one of your heroes. Well, this doesn't suffer from that at all. This is a very unique Stratocaster, aside from the electronics that we'll talk about, uh, the sustainer. Ed O'Brien from Radiohead designed this guitar because he wanted to reach further than a Stratocaster usually does. He wanted to make tones that sounded more like a keyboard at times. But I found that this thing actually has a great direct rhythm sound, but it's not like a Strat. Does it sound like a Tele? It's really, really bright and it has a really, strong snap to it. So the guitar is surprising in a lot of ways. It's it's a Stratocaster, but it's kind of a next level Stratocaster. And it came with a maple neck. Now I have a friend at Fender named Stan Cody, and I called Stan and said, is there a rosewood neck I could get from you guys for this? And he said, I'll make a call. He contacted some people at the model shop. The model shop at Fender is not the mod shop. The mod shop is on their website where you can design a guitar and order it and have it built. The model shop is a research and development prototype place where it's very private. There's only three or four people there and they actually do a lot of secret stuff that you never hear about. So this neck is pretty unique. As you can see, it has the Jazzmaster square inlays and the finish is rubbed off on the back. But the really cool thing is this logo Fender research and development. I had never seen that before. So the masterclass is up to about 1700 videos. A lot of those are lead guitar lessons, but a lot of them are also rhythm guitar lessons and a lot cover the kind of playing I was just doing. How to get little parts, find the right little parts, how to keep your right hand going like a motor so you play perfectly in the pocket all the time. Click the link below if you wanna take the 14 day free trial and see if it's right for you. So we start with an alder body and an Olympic white finish, vintage style trim, which to me is the best sounding tremolo. There's the on and off switch for the sustainer. This is the fundamental note. You switch it there and a fifth joins it, and then you switch it there, and an octave blends in and joins it also. Remember, this is a polyphonic system, so all six notes on the guitar play if you want, or one note, you just have to mute the ones you don't want. Here is the intensity volume for the sustainer. You can bleed in as much of it as you want. Master tone, master volume, five-way blade switch, JB Jr. in the bridge position, Texas Special in the middle. There is the sustainer pickup. It sounds good on its own. The patented Fernando sustainer system generates a magnetic field, causing the strings of the guitar to vibrate. The result is infinite sustain or feedback using sparkling clean or loud distorted settings without the need of excessive volume or extra outboard gear. Here is my special neck with the block inlays. That's the flower of life neck plate. You can see the finish rubbed off, which actually feels really good. And then the very cool logo that I have never seen anywhere else. The maple neck that came on this is actually a pretty cool neck also. I just wanted rose with. The maple neck starts with a soft V and then the shape changes. It morphs into a C right there, so it's really comfortable. You can check out this guitar with the link below. That's from Sweetwater. Let's listen to Ed demonstrate. This is Ed O'Brien from Radiohead. I'm excited about the prospect of it falling into the hands of somebody who will do extraordinary things with it, somebody who comes along and makes it their own. You can kind of play in a different way because of the endless sustain. And I can get an extra harmonic by flipping this switch. Flip it back and it's back to the normal endless sustain.
Okay, now the volume pedal takes it to a different level. Uh, let me put some more delay. Add this one in over here, just, just to get it really wet for this. So the reason I'm playing over Seal's Crazy is because it's one of my favorite records of all time. I'm a huge Seal fan. I always wanted to work on one of his records and I knew his producer, Trevor Horn. I worked with Trevor for about 10 years, Rod Stewart, a bunch of other artists. So my turn finally came up and I only played a little guitar on Seal 4. It was on two songs. One's called Love Divine and then this one, Waiting For You. Shining 